Time now for sports with Scott Breen. Well, welcome back as we crack the top five in our countdown of top local sports stories. Back in August, we featured a Billings CrossFit athlete who isn't really trying to keep up with the Joneses. They're trying to keep up with her, but not many are. Casey Conlon told her story. This is CrossFit, once a workout fad, now a certified lifestyle, and hope Cicero can't get enough of it. It was the most miserable thing I think I've ever done. And I got done and it was like, I just did that, like that was really cool. The 36-year-old Billings mom, wife, and nurse, among other things, takes no pain, no gain to the max. There are times when you're doing qualifiers that I think, oh man, what am I doing? Is this really, why, like, you know, where your gut is completely turning. But no, at the end, I am always satisfied and always, that was so much fun. Which is what led her to the 2019 CrossFit Games, a competition that asked the question, who is the fittest athlete on the planet? But to get there, she first had to take a step into a friend's homemade CrossFit garage. She ended up putting me through a workout and I loved it. It was great because some workouts are three minutes and you want to die. Some are like 45 minutes and you still want to die. So it was awesome at the end. It was like, this is really sweet. I know, she seems a little crazy. Woo! But that prepared her for anything that games could throw at her. Finishing in the top five in six out of eight workouts to finish fourth in the world in the 35-39 age division. I had expectations that I wanted to podium and then to come in fourth and to just taste the blood of like, I could have been on that podium, it totally happened. The it was what she promised she wouldn't do. After experiencing the games as part of the CrossFit Billings team last year with coach and self-proclaimed big brother, Yuri Hansen. The whole weekend I just was, I was telling him like, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna be emotional because I knew how this felt last year when we got done and, and the minute I got done, I went to my husband and I was like, <laughs> like crying and he's like, it's okay, like you took fourth in the world. I'm like, I know. And then I was like, I'm gonna go get my stuff. So then went to the athlete area and same thing and I'm thinking I'm gonna be cool, be cool. And then I see her and I was like, <laughs> It was a talk with her dad right before she left that really did her in, especially after Cicero won the final workout of the competition. We're having some prayer time and, and um, you know, he's, he's saying, Lord, you know, and just allow Hope to experience victory through the weekend. And I was like, oh man. When I look back over the weekend, there's so many different things that allowed me to experience victory and one of them being that. I went into that workout thinking, this is not going to be good because this was a repeat from last year. I didn't do, our team didn't do as well. It was a team workout. So I thought, no, this isn't going to go very well. And then to come out and win it 